so full disclosure, I had I had a whole other idea planned for today's video. I'm kind of messing around with some hardline water tubing, a little project I thought would be cool, but that's not really working out as planned. So instead, we're gonna we're gonna go back to season four, episode seven of the fan showdown, where we had this guy. This is Carl's bladeless fan, and when we showcase this fan on the fan showdown, a lot of people want to see it with other fans. So that's what we're gonna do today, which will buy me some more time to try to figure out the issues I'm having with this. Hopefully I can. If I do, you'll see that video come out soon. But for now, let's let me show you the plethora of fans we're gonna we're gonna test with this thing to try to sweet see if we can squeeze out any more performance. Thank you to Micro Center for sponsoring today's video. Micro Center is one of the best places to shop for all your technology needs, and if you're like me, you might even live within driving distance to a Micro Center location. Having a Micro Center nearby has saved my bacon more than once. Most notably, that one time uh, I fried my GPU while trying to build that custom shroud. Remember that? Yeah. Now Micro Center is probably most well known for its PC hardware, but they also carry 3D printers. And I'll be honest, I didn't even know this until the last time I was walking through Micro Center looking for some PC cooling hardware and happened to notice all the filament and printers they had in stock. Micro Center is actually one of the only places you can find a wide selection of 3D printers and materials, but not everyone is easily able to drive to a Micro Center location, but that's not a problem. You can browse all of their parts online at microcenter.com, and if you prefer, you can even shop the Micro Center Amazon store to pick up all the filament you need. However, if you do have a Micro Center nearby, they are currently offering a $99 coupon towards an Ender 3D Pro. This is a no purchase necessary offer to new customers in store only. So if you're wanting to get into 3D printing, check out microcenter.com or head into one of your local stores today. And thank you again to Micro Center for sponsoring today's video. So this is obviously the original fan for the bladeless and it didn't perform optimally. Uh, there was airflow, we did see it in the smoke test, but this is, this is where we're starting at. Now, a lot of you said we should put the, the cheater on there and I took that as we should put the cheater as an 80 millimeter fan on there. So what I did is I took essentially the cheater, I, sh I shrunk it down to 80 millimeters and then reversed the blade pitch so that it was moving air in the proper direction to function with this. After looking at it, I decided the, the blades had a little bit too much distance between them. So I made another version where there's just more blades and we're gonna see if essentially the same size fan can do better if it's a fan that we already know performs well. And then we got lucky. Carl saw that video, he saw all your guys' comments and he created this thing for us. This is an adapter to go from the normal 80 millimeter fan diameter that this thing is meant for to 120. Because a lot of you want to see it with the A12X25, which we can now do. Also, of course, the original cheater, because we all know this thing does well. We can put the cheater on this bladeless. And I still have this thing. This is the T30 cheater, which basically takes the cheater and raises it up a notch because we already know that the t30 which we'll test as well is a pretty beefy fan that spins about 3000 rpm and produces much much higher airflow than all the other fans we've tested it's been on the fan showdown we've seen it was like 900 and something feet per minute of airflow so this version should be even better and we're going to see which one of these does the best and then hopefully if we can get the airflow up to a much higher value we can get a much better look at the flow around this in the smoke test. If you have any other ideas for things you want to see on the channel, let me know in the comments. I'm always looking and every time I see a good idea, it's fun to try it out. So let's get this set up and see where we're at. So we'll start with the original fan, just to kind of sanity check, see where it is today. It looks 379, which is a little down from the first time we tested it, but it's right in there, 381, 379. So that's the number to the beat. So the 80 millimeter low blade count cheater type fan is actually doing slightly worse at 363. We'll see if it goes up with a higher blade count. So this is interesting. This one is also down from the original fan. So I guess the original fan probably isn't as bad as we thought it was. Let's see what happens when we get to a 120 millimeter fan. We'll start with just the A12X25 and 466. So that's our new, our new high score. So that's what the, that's the number to beat. All these other fans hopefully should do better. We'll go right to the T30, which is another normal PC fan. 660. So now we're now we're cooking with gas. I I don't know. We'll see if we can get any more out of it. We'll switch to the normal cheater. And then the big boy. <laughs> Things are getting ridiculously tall. So 508, we are down from the T30, but we are up from the original A12 X25. So I'm thinking the big boy T30 cheater should be, should be our best. 691, 688, still number one out of all the ones we've tested. <laughs> it just looks so ridiculous. Let's look how tall it is. It looks, it, it looks like the, the stack on the front of like an old steam locomotive, but as a surprise to nobody, the T30 Cheater did do the best. What I found most interesting 
was that the original 80 millimeter fan wasn't really as bad as we uh, we thought. I would have thought that you know one of these two 80 millimeter cheater type fans would have outperformed it, but that wasn't the case. This thing held its own, respectively, to the other small fans. And there's probably a better 80 millimeter fan out there or a better design that you could come up with to outperform all three of these. But what I really want to know now is that we have so much more air flowing through this design, thanks to this monstrosity. What does that look like in the smoke test?